everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another segment of What Would Drew Do, which is my favorite series here on the channel. This is where I take your guys' decor dilemmas and help you guys basically transform any space in your home that you might need a little bit of help on. But I took a couple of the spaces that you guys sent over to me and I'm going to share with you how I'm going to transform those spaces from start to finish. And a lot of you guys always question how this is done. They're like, how did you get that before and that after? Like, how was that done? And essentially I take your guys' befores and I redesign them all. So I pick out all new furniture, paint colors, flooring, rugs, whatever it might be for that space, send them over to a rendering artist and then they basically render out a full makeover. And I also want to say that today's video is kindly sponsored by Decenio. And a lot of you guys know I absolutely love Decenio for their art prints um, and their frames. They have a ton of different prints over on their website and I'll touch on them in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and jump on into our first space. So our first space was sent in by Lone Fox family member Atiqua Chandri, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. She sent over the this video to give you guys a reference of the space that she's working with. Okay, so here's the outside of my room. I really like my doors. They're French doors that both open. They're a little see-through. And this is when you first open it. And then immediately on the right side, I have like this very empty wall. Um, and then there's my desk, which again has not much on it. It's a little cluttered and a very empty wall in front of it. And then right over here is where my bed is. It's probably the most exciting thing in my entire room right now. And there's this weird structure like right above my bed, which is essentially my closet. And this is why my room is very small because this takes up a lot of space. That's essentially the only storage I have in this room. Alrighty, so the space is definitely on the smaller side for sure. And not to mention the kind of closet area above the bed kind of takes up a large portion of the wall. However, I mean, I feel like it kind of needs to stay there. I feel like it'd be a big change to rip that off. Plus implementing a closet elsewhere, I don't think would be the easiest thing. So I kind of feel like making this almost a focal headboard piece would be really fun and a way that you can do this is with removable wallpaper so just going through and wallpapering the entire wardrobe section above the bed along with the nightstands kind of to create a very cohesive almost like archway around the bed also adding some new handles to these cabinets because currently they're super super modern very ikea scandinavian style you push them and they open but i think adding just a simple handle can really just tone down the look of it and make it look a little bit more like transitional or traditional in terms of design. I also think adding a fresh coat of paint to this space in a white tone would be really nice just because currently the flooring's pretty warm and the wall color at the moment is pretty cool and I think it kind of clashes with each other so I think adding white to this space will overall just open it up a little bit and I think it's a great base for all of the other additions. Something I noticed about Atika's space is that she has very bold bedding so I kind of figured that maybe she likes some color there so I want to introduce color back into the bedding as well but just go with something a little bit more streamlined so I'm kind of going with these kind of warm olive colors, which I think would be a nice complement to what we've already added to like the headboard space. Now a couple other additional elements I would add to the space is just a small little five by seven rug at the end of the bed. I actually did this in my grandpa's room makeover and it totally works for small spaces. I think it adds a little bit of texture to the floor. I would definitely go in and swap out those curtains for something a little bit more neutral and natural that kind of has a tiny bit of warmth to it. So with our new white walls, there's kind of a little bit of contrast, but it's very subtle. And last but not least, we need to go in and swap out this light fixture. So I found this fun one here which I think kind of elevates the whole look of the space. Now moving over to the opposite side of her room, we have her workstation. I could not forget about this area over here because currently there is a desk there and it's a simple little white Ikea desk, I believe. However, if you do want to go in and kind of add something a little bit more funky and stylized, I found this fun woven desk from Urban Outfitters, which I like, which I think would kind of elevate that area a little bit. So maybe popping that over in the corner. And then of course, all the walls over here would also be that new white tone that we're going with. And just because there is that wall space above the desk, I feel like we can also turn this into almost a makeshift little vanity area or just add a mirror there just to reflect a little bit of light in general. And then last but not least to this area, because we do have that pretty large blank wall there, this is a great area to add some wall art, which just overall intensifies the space. It adds color, visual interest, and texture and pattern. So I'm going to go in and create a little gallery wall here with a couple of prints and frames from Decenio, which of course you guys know I love Decenio. Thank you. 
Now, if you're one that has struggled with hanging gallery walls in the past, I created an entire tutorial for you guys, sharing with you all my tips, tricks, and hacks on hanging a gallery wall, which I'm gonna play right now for you guys and also touch on today's video sponsor, Desenio. Hanging your first gallery wall can be a little bit daunting, but it actually is super simple with a couple of these tips. So I got my box, of course, from Desenio. The thing I love about Desenio is how quickly they ship to the US. So you get your items really, really fast. I got a ton of really cute art prints along with some frames, of course. I ended up getting the dot abstract number two, the painted flower pot poster, look away poster, good vibes only, and this Le Jardin poster, which was the main art piece for this entire gallery wall. Now Desenio offers trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames and updates its collection regularly. They have really anything for absolutely every style and every person. So I definitely suggest checking out Desenio if you're in the market for some art prints. And they also ship to the US within five days, which is amazing. We all love some quick shipping. Now, the way I like to work on a gallery wall is to lay out some wallpaper, filming paper, butcher paper, whatever you have that's large enough that you could trace your framed art print on. So I'm going ahead, I'm tracing out my frame and I'm also going in and measuring exactly where that nail hole needs to go. And I'm gonna mark that on my template as well. Well. These are just really nice to have on hand. That way, when you go to hang up your gallery wall, you don't have to commit to any nail holes and you can just play around with like the composition of the wall and the placement of the different artwork. So as you can see here, I'm going through and using my different templates I created from each of my art prints. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of place them on the wall to find out the structure that I love. And a little tip is once you're done using your template, you can totally fold it up and tape it on the backside of your art print. That way you can keep that template for a future gallery wall um, or just anything you want in the future. But the nice thing is once you have your template up there, you already have your nail hole in place so you can nail right through the template, pull it off and put all of your Desenio prints up on the wall. They coordinate so beautifully. And I believe this is the biggest discount Desenio's ever given you guys, but this is 40% off of prints using code 40LONEFOX valid from May 27th to May 31st at midnight. Moving into space number two, this was sent over by Lone Fox family member Kim, and she needs a little bit of help with her living room area. She said that she just moved into the space, and I'll let you guys go ahead and watch her video. Hi, Drew. My name is Kim, and I've been following you for a few months now, actually, since we bought this place, and since I decided that I'd like to uh, make this condo a bit more of our um, home as a newly married couple. This is the wide angle shot of our living room um, and then you'll see here is where we were hoping to put our TV and then hopefully also cover up that um, eyesore of the gray, gray uh, vent panel and then on this side we would like to put our sectional or a really cozy sofa. But I would so so appreciate if you could give me some input on what we should do with this space. Now, in the photos that I'm sharing of the space, she mentioned that these pictures were taken by the previous tenant, so all the furniture and pieces in there currently are not theirs, and they're going to be removed, of course, and they're starting out fully fresh, and she also sent over a Pinterest mood board, so I want to take into account her Pinterest mood board and kind of maybe pull a couple of pieces that she likes from the space to incorporate into the design, so let's get started. Now, the space is currently painted white, and I think we can totally keep that uh, just because this space does lead into other areas. It's kind of like an open concept. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit strange painting a very open concept space that's kind of internalized a different color because it almost seems like everything in that area is supposed to be painted that same color if that makes sense so I'm just gonna keep this white that way it's kind of free flowing around the room but the first thing of course I would add to the space is a sofa and I pulled one directly from her Pinterest mood board now I know green was mentioned as a favorite accent color so I thought bringing in a large focal pop of green would be perfect in terms of an area rug so I found this one from Laloy it is such a a pretty kind of Turkish Persian style rug and I also really like the moodiness and darkness of the rug but it also kind of has that very transitional style as well which I think is really nice. Since we touched on the floor and adding a rug let's move up to the window area. This is definitely somewhere that needs some new curtains. I'm not a huge fan of the current curtains there so we're just going to swap them out for something again a little bit natural. I believe they're the same exact curtains I used in the last space but why not? They work totally fine and they're just a natural kind of linen tone and something else I would love in this space to give it more of that industrial lofty vibe which her husband likes is to actually change all of the window bars or window trims to black and I have done this multiple times on my channel before I love the way that this looks so much and you can easily achieve it with just some electrical tape from the hardware store now in terms of additional kind of furniture pieces that we need in this space of course we do need a coffee table and a media console so I found this simple coffee table and then I would also go in with a totally juxtaposing piece which is this nice kind of rattan style cane media console 
that has curved edges, a bit more trendy, but totally bringing in that boho soft element. Now above the couch area, I thought adding a nice little shelf up there, which is perfect to add a couple pieces of decor and maybe also some framed artworks kind of leaning on the shelf would be nice just so you didn't have to 100% kind of commit to a gallery wall here. It's something that can honestly always be changed up. That's what I love about a picture ledge shelf is you can always change up the artwork, change up the decor, and it's nothing you really have to commit to. And also maybe this little wall sconce as well. Again, pulling in that industrial vibe. I know I've said industrial 57 times, but you know, it's just part of the look. And last but not least, I know that Kem also mentioned she really wanted to camouflage the vent over in the corner. And I think a perfect, perfect way to do this would be with a leaning blanket ladder. So this is just basically like a wooden toned ladder. You could lean it up against the wall, which I think is really great because it will allow circulation from the vent underneath since it's gonna be pretty far, but it's gonna camouflage it as well. And you could add a couple throw blankets on here, just adding a little bit more color and texture to the space. And it's also useful. You can pull them off, use them on the couch and you're good to go. So that is Kim's space kind of all redesigned. I think the outcome of this area turned out so cute. And I love this small kind of living room transformation. Now our last space was sent in by Lone Fox family member Sarah and she actually didn't send along a video which normally when I look through these I'm like okay is there a video there if there's not I kind of weed them out a little bit because a video really does help me a lot but you guys this space I just saw so much potential in based off the photos that she sent me and I'll make sure to pop them up on the screen as I'm talking about it because this room has so much potential but I feel like the red carpeting and just some of the features in here are totally pulling away from it so I would like to share with you Sarah what I would do to this space to kind of transform Form it into something that's really, really cute. The first thing I want to mention is that Sarah says that she really doesn't have a particular design style or color palette to go with. So she said that she totally trusted my vision to give her some ideas. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So let's dive on into this little transformation. Now, the first thing I think that you guys are probably going to assume that I'm going to do is rip out the red flooring, which is 100% something that's got to go. I feel like red is just a very hard color to design with. You can do it in very small doses, but it's very overpowering. So this red flooring is totally taking over the entire space. Now I know Sarah mentioned that she did purchase this place so it's definitely an area that you can rip out the flooring of course and then maybe go back in with a peel and stick option for a current flooring option because I know that she also mentioned in her email that she doesn't know exactly what she wants to do yet to the space and she's dedicated more to kind of redoing all the flooring at one time in the future but a great alternative option for a current kind of standing of the space would be a peel and stick flooring and I found this parquet flooring which I think is very cute. Now I feel like it's definitely hit or miss. Some people like this flooring, some people don't like this flooring, but I feel like this space just totally screams like vintage, lofty, cute, planty area, like with lots of plants and big windows and a parquet floor. And I don't know, it just brings me all of these really fun urban vibes. So I think adding this flooring to this space will just kind of enhance the overall antique look of this space. I do want to mention that she says that she's on a budget for this space. So I opted to kind of pull in a new bed frame that I found from Ikea. I thought that this green velvet would be a nice little eclectic touch to the space and I also think it would contrast beautifully with the new flooring as well and just bringing in a more minimal bedding moment so just a little bit of neutrals along with some simple patterns and textures just to make it kind of interesting and fun at the same time. I thought it would be really nice to add two little poofs. This is totally interchangeable with like a bench or a storage bench or a trunk or anything like that but I thought the two poofs would be kind of cute at the end of the bed. Now that's kind of like the bedding area all complete but there also is that wardrobe again the wall. Now, something I would do to this wardrobe is almost just make it look a little bit more French provincial vibes, which I think is going to elevate the space and again, add to that antique look. So making this piece look a little bit more antique than it already is. And I think that it has a great base because it kind of has those swoopy legs at the bottom, which is definitely something that you find in a lot of French provincial style furniture. So adding some knobs, I found these ones on Amazon. They are like a brass filigree provincial style knob. I think swapping them out for something like this would overall just make the piece appear more of like an antique as opposed to something that looks like it just came from Ikea with a simple silver knob on it, you know? So just a small little change like that can totally elevate that one piece of furniture. We're also going to need some new nightstands on either side of the bed and I opted for these affordable options from the Studio McGee and Target collab so I thought these would be really cute on either side of the bed in the darker wood color and then also popping on top of those a couple of simple table lamps in this kind of like white ceramic color I thought would be also a really nice touch. And lastly for this view of the room I would just go ahead and add a little artwork above the bed. This one is a really cute little print from Decenio. Of course I will link that below for you guys.
Now moving over to the second view of this space, it is just right in front of the bedding area and I love the fireplace focal point. I like how it's right in the middle. I kind of like how it juts out from the wall a little bit. So I figured we can go ahead and just enhance this area and keep it super simple. I didn't want to do too much over here. So I thought over in the left hand corner, maybe just going ahead and adding this fun accent chair would be really nice. I think it kind of has this 70s retro vibe, kind of going back to that like parquet flooring as well, which I love. So this chair is definitely going to be a hit or miss in your guys' books, but I think it's just a fun, quirky element to add over in the corner, and it's just very, very trendy, if you will. I like the chrome vibe right now, and I think the leather's also a nice kind of touch as well to this piece. And then over on the right side, I think adding a floor mirror would be great, again, to add a little bit more light, bounce it off the room, and then also give you an area to, of course, look at yourself when you're getting ready. So I think adding that floor mirror over there, maybe just adding a little basket next to it, and a couple of other plants around it, maybe a couple other decor elements. And last but not least for the space, I also would go in and just swap out the two current light fixtures for these little Ikea ones I found. They're very affordable, but I like the roundness of the bulb, and I think it kind of plays back to the style that we're going for in this space. So that is this full area redesigned. And that finishes today's episode of What Would Drew Do? I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and I hope it gave you a couple of pointers or insight and I hope you can definitely gain some inspiration from this video. So if you would like to see another episode of this, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which space was your favorite one that I redesigned. Also, do not forget to check out Desenio using the link in the description box below to take advantage of the amazing discount that they are giving you guys. I have Desenio prints throughout my entire home and I totally love them. So definitely take a look over on their site. They have so many different options and there's definitely something for everybody. But I will go ahead and let you guys go and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. Bye everyone!